All right, today we are going to talk about Creative Commons. Uh, Creative Commons is something that is very special to me. Uh, you may have noticed that um, my website, the canvas, a lot of the materials that I post and use are licensed under Creative Commons. Um, I do this, I guess, because I think it's important um, for people to have access to information and to be able to share it and to use it, but with props, you know, you got to get, you got to get your credit, uh, you know, at, at the end of the day. But uh, today I'm going to talk about Creative Commons and Creative Commons is a alternative licensing system to what we've talked about so much throughout this term, which is uh, all rights reserved copyright. Okay. Um, we know with all rights reserved copyright, you have your RP3Ds, you have the exclusive right to reproduce, to perform, to display, to distribute, and to prepare derivatives. What Creative Commons does, in, and we'll watch a short video in a second with a bunch of nerds who talk about it, and then another nerd will talk about it for much longer, unfortunately for you, uh, you know, but a Creative Commons allows you to create content and share it and have people use it in very specific ways that you stipulate in your, in your license. Um, and it allows your work to get out there and, and to be used and with your name attached to it. Now, I advocate this for beginning artists, for beginning authors, for beginning creators, because I think it allows for your work to get the most use, um, the most visibility, the most recognition, the most sharing, uh, the most collaboration, et cetera, et cetera, uh, as, as possible, which helps to build your authorial brand, brand name, uh, essentially. And I'll talk about that uh, a, li a little bit more. But um, you know, this is definitely something I'm passionate about in the sense of I do believe in open source. I do believe in free culture. Um, you know, as much as I do believe in copyright, I believe in an equitable system where information and content is, you know, democratically accessible, um, you know, easy to use, easy to reuse, easy, easy to keep creating, you know, um, and this system allows you to kind of build upon. So I usually ask, you know, who here has heard of Creative Commons before? And a lot of the answers I get is, oh, I've seen it on your website, um, you know, but I will get a few students who maybe heard about it in like a journalism class or heard about it in high school or something like that. A lot of um, people use it, like they use stuff from the commons, but they don't actually ever give back, um, which makes you kind of a shitty peer. <laughs> you know, like what kind of like peer are you or community member are you if you're just taking, right? Um, so I always advocate for people to also share their content uh, as Creative Commons, and I lead by example um, in that in that sense. So um, things like my book, which you can you know you can check out if you're really having sleep sleep issues. Um, you know I, I I pushed for a long time, went with various different publishers until I found a lesser known publisher who would give me less royalties and promote my book and market it less, but they would allow me to have a free Creative Commons. Uh, ver licensed version that would make my, my book, which typically is the market for academic books is libraries, um, it would make that book accessible to anybody in, in, the, in the world who had access to, you know, the internet could download, could download it. So I had people in Russia, China, etc. Um, that could access my content um, because it was freely accessible. And that was like a really big deal to me. But I'll talk more about, about that stuff. Anyways, we're going to watch this video, um, you know, about a shared culture. Um, but it does feature uh, Lawrence Lessig, who is actually one of the founders of Creative Commons. But um, again, so we'll press play on this and then we'll get back and we'll talk through the licensing system, how it works. And hopefully I can encourage you a little bit to start thinking about using, uh, you know, Creative Commons works in your own works and also um, you know, giving to the commons because it's not a common unless we, you know, contribute to it. 